came from Nagpur. I want to ask you one question about Vedas. Because I believe Vedas are main scripture of Hinduism. So I want to know if you are telling or putting a common point which is similar to other scripture, why you do not put different points in front of non-Muslim people which are contradictable or which are opposite to each other. Because I believe in common point as a being a Hindu girl, it is very important to know which are the common point and which are the different points in Hinduism scriptures. She said that I quoted the Vedas, I did point out similarities, why don't I speak about differences? And she wants to know the similarities as well as differences. Sister, if I can give a talk on similarities between Islam and Hinduism for a few hours, I can give a bigger talk and a longer talk on differences between Islam and Hinduism. But the reason I choose to speak about similarities, because that is the advice given by my Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in Sulal Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Kul ya hilal kitab, say O people of the book, Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa imbayana baynakum, come to common terms as with us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'abda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yattakhi zabaad dunabaad dan arbaabun mundun illa. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fa intawallah. If then they turn back. Fa kulu shadu. Say ee bear witness. Be anna muslimoon. That we are muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse of the Quran shows us a way how to speak with different kinds of people. Come to common terms as us and you. Which is the first term? The most important term is Allah, na'uda illallah. That we worship none but one almighty God. Regarding differences, sister, I can give a talk for hours together about differences. Not that I can't. But it will, it will bring animosity. Maybe it will hurt the feelings of someone. That we may be forced to do during a debate. When there is a debate, you know, for example, I had a debate with a person by the name of Dr. William Campbell. He, you heard that talk? Is you heard that talk, sister? Yeah, I have seen your videos. Ah, so that talk was talking about differences between Christianity and Islam. Why? He wrote a book saying there are 30 scientific errors in the Quran. And for eight years, no Muslim replied. In US, it became a hot seller. So the students of US, they called me and we had a dialogue. The topic was Quran and Bible in the light of science. Whatever allegations they had against the Quran, I replied to all. I posed 38 points from the Bible, which is against science. He could not reply to any. So in a debate, I may have to do that. If I have a debate with a Hindu scholar who says that, you know, Vedas are completely with, about science. So then I can talk about the unscientific thing. I'll just give you a sample. I don't intend giving a talk on the unscientific mention in the Veda. If you read Yajur Veda, it says that the sun in the chariot, it takes circles around the earth. That means the sun is revolving around the earth. It's unscientific. You may have read in school that the sun does not take circles around the earth. It was the old philosophy. So this is unscientific. Nowhere does the Quran say that. So what we realize, but if I talk about differences, maybe you may feel offended. So, if you want to go on a higher level, surely you can ask queries at IRF, we'll give you all the things. But in public, I personally don't want to talk about contradiction, unless someone forces me. Not that we aren't aware. But if you know the similarity, what I'm telling you, let us agree to follow what is common. So what I tell the people, what is common in the Vedas, in the Bible, in the Quran, let everyone agree that at least one book is the word of God. Hindus will say, Veda is the word of God. Christians will say, Bible is the word of God. Muslims will say, the Quran is the word of God. I tell them a thing which everyone wouldn't mind agreeing. Let us agree to follow what is common. So when you follow the commonalities in the Vedas, in the Bible, in the Jewish scriptures, Talmud, in the Quran, we find all the scriptures say there is one God. All the scriptures say the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So I am asking you, sister, why don't you believe in one God? I want to ask you the question, sister. Do you believe in idol worship? Yeah, I am believing. Do you believe there is one God? Yeah, I believe in 
Do you believe, and do you believe, sister, that the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Just because I am asking you the question, because it is very difficult to uh, understand uh, Quran and Vedas, and I am so much confused which uh, scripture is more important for me to uh, achieve um, uh, to the God. I mean, to worship to the God. I heard my lecture on similarity between Islam and Hinduism or yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hindu scriptures. Have you heard that? Yeah, I have heard. Do you know that your scriptures say that the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. So do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yeah, definitely. Do you believe? Yeah. So if you believe there is one God and, and you believe that idol worship is prohibited and, and if you believe that, that Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad is the last messenger, messenger in, in Arabic, Arabic we call you as a Muslim. <laughs> Sister, do you believe in one God? Yeah, I believe in one God. Do you believe there is no idol worship? Do you believe that Almighty God has got no images? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. And you also believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. So what you have entered, you may not have gone very high, but by saying this that there is no God, but Allah and, and Prophet, Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, you indirectly become a Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. So do you yeah, submit but, but I am indirectly Muslim, no? If uh, Veda is telling the well, same thing and uh, Quran telling the same thing, so yes. which... If you are indirect also, no problem. Indirect also, you're most welcome. Whether you come direct or indirect, we welcome you, sister. Now, you know what is coming. Now, if your Veda says, that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And you have to follow him. So by following Prophet Muhammad, you are indirectly following the Vedas also. Then you have to find out what did Prophet Muhammad say. Then you have to read the Hadith. But slowly, slowly, so now you are in nursery, then junior KG, then senior KG, then first standard, then you will reach standard 10. But have you taken admission, I want to know. That do you, do you agree that you are a Muslim? Muslim means a person who submits his will, his or her will to God. Why it is important that the person who are uh, believing in one God, uh, he is called or she is called a Muslim? Yes, why? Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. And the first important creed to submit your will to God is, believe there is one God, believe there is no idol worship, and believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. If you say this, that means you have agreed to submit and then it takes time then you go to standard one then slowly you may know what is required about fasting about charity not to rob not to steal all this comes later but do you agree to submit your will is important and do you agree to follow the teachings of prophet muhammad is important what i want to ask you sister yeah i agree so would you like to say the shahada shahada means would you like to say in arabic that there is no god but one god and, and prophet muhammad is the messenger Yeah, there is a one God and uh, the prophet. prophet Muhammad is the last Prophet. MashaAllah. MashaAllah sister. Congratulations. I would just say it in Arabic and I want you to repeat it. You know what you have said is the same thing. But I want to ask you sister, is anyone forcing you to say this? No, no one. Is anyone putting pressure? No. It is completely out of free will? Yeah. Okay sister, I say in Arabic, just repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasulu Wa I bear witness I bear witness I bear witness That there is no God that there is no God but Allah but Allah and Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him peace be upon him is the servant is the servant and messenger of and, Allah and messenger of Allah MashaAllah thank you I congratulate you sister now we have entered the fall of Islam and inshallah for getting more knowledge for going to first standard second standard third standard be in touch with the sisters of the Islamic Research Foundation and it will be a pleasure to guide you and if you have any queries regarding Quran, regarding Islam, you're most welcome to ask. If you have any queries even regarding Hinduism, yeah. etc., most welcome sisters. And, and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
that may be granted to Janna's sister. Thank you, sir. Thank you.